guys what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel it's me your girl barista neze and this is nezeville if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe icon if you already like my face my personality or my content and join the veil okay guys so today is going to be a very unserious fun and very laid-back video okay i'm going to be showing you guys what is in my handbag <laughs> what is my handbag as a banker youtuber okay there are a lot of things in my handbag that i would like to show you guys i'm sure you guys are very curious what is this content creator banker carrying everywhere she goes okay so i'm going to show you guys everything that is in my handbag like every single day and as i do i would love for you ladies to tell me also what are the must-haves in your handbag what are those your items that you cannot step out of the house without is it your sunglasses whatever it is do drop in the comment section as i list mine okay so let's go right into the video I'm going to be sampling to you guys today is my black Michael Kors handbag <laughs> I love this handbag and it's very special to me for plenty of reasons for one it's a gift from my husband he got it on one of his trips where he traveled out for an official assignment and he came back with the bag and when I saw it that first I was like oh my god this bag is too small because I'm a big bag kind of lady I'm such a pack rat so I love to carry big bags let me show you samples of the kind of bags I would typically buy for myself here was also the one that bought this one for me on that same trip but this is the kind of handbag that I like to carry or even something bigger I love to carry very big bags because <laughs> Abu Monyan Gongo Nan Do you understand? I'm that person in the office that when someone has a wardrobe malfunction, they just go to Neze because Neze, they know that Neze is going to have put a zip and a button and pin and little like thread. <laughs> so I love to have everything I need available with me. So I usually like very big handbags. But when he got this one, it was so cute. Yeah, it's a designer's bag and it's black. It can match any outfit. I don't have to think about changing my bag in the morning when I'm rushing to work. It's very, it has a neutral color and it just, it's so classy. I like the, the shape. It can go with anything, a dress, shirt, jeans, every kind of outfit. It can go with it. So, um, I really love this handbag and it's just that bag that when you step into a place it just speaks for you it makes a fashion statement for you without you even having to overdress so it's one of my favorite bags ever so I'm going to be showing you guys what is in this handbag <laughs> am I supposed to hold the handbag like this while I talk I don't think so okay let me drop it so the first and number one thing you'll find in Neze's handbag, the first and number one thing that you'll find in Neze's handbag is, another reason why I love it is that it has so many compartments. There's room for so many compartments. I call it the small but mighty because it looks small, but the, the number of things that this bag can carry, you'll be marveled at it. So it has so many zippers and compartments. Heleta Skelter. <laughs> everywhere around it all right so let's just go right into that so the first and foremost thing that you'll find in my handbag as a banker are my phones in fact i cannot even go anywhere or do anything without my phones all right i have two phones i've always been a lover of two phones i can't remember ever having one phone even if the second phone has to be a small phone or a touch light phone i'm a two phone kind of girl because one might be busy or one's battery might be dead or one might have a bad network i always like to have an alternative phone so i have two phones um an android phone and an iphone and i take the both of them wherever i'm going to apart from the necessity to stay in touch with people it's also a very important working tool for me because we always have meetings every day online meetings because of the covid situation physical meetings are cancelled now so we always have online meetings and you have to log in on the phone so my phones are my number one must have in my bag the next thing you find in neza's handbag is my sanitizer <laughs> i don't know whether there was okay before the covid season have you i don't know whether you guys were one of those people that usually carry sanitizers around before covid but i never was i have never had to carry 
sanitizer around until the COVID came. So I have the sanitizer everywhere I go to. When I go to a public place and the security at the door tries to sanitize me, I really do not like those public sanitizers because it's so sticky. I don't know what they make of it. I don't know whether it's made of pap or starch or I don't know. But I don't really don't like the feel and smell. So I like to move around with my own sanitizer so I can sanitize my hands. When the COVID just started in Nigeria, this sanitizer, as I sanitized my hands was like a craze. Like for every customer I attend to, in the office, I will just sanitize my hand. Like, <sighs> if any customer asks me for my buyer, I'll be like, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> so I was making very good use of this sanitizer when this COVID just broke out. But I will not lie to you. Now I can count how many times in a week I put it on my hand, but I still carry it everywhere in my handbag. The next must-have for me in my handbag is my hand cream. Okay. Well, my hand cream has actually finished, so I'm making do with this baby oil that I poured from my children's container in the house. I just poured a little quantity for myself there, so I can be making use of until I replace my hand cream. My hand cream is so important to me because I do wash my hands often, given the nature of my job where I have to interact with so many people, so I have to wash my hands often, and when I do, I wouldn't want my hands looking like a farmer's hands, okay? I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't like my hands looking all white and, you know, cracky and all that, so I always like to oil my hand and moist it after washing it. So my hand cream or my hand oil is a necessity in my bag. Next in my bag is my lipstick. <laughs> Okay, my lipstick, yeah, I guess the color. Do you guys need to guess? I don't I don't need to say it. If you know Neze, you'll know that there's one color that I cannot live without, and that is rouge. <laughs> my red matte lipstick is a must-have in my bag. So many ladies move around with gloss and lip balm, but I'm not really a lip gloss kind lady. I'm a lipstick, red lipstick lady like i just love the look that it gives me like it channels my inner marilyn monroe <laughs> so i move around with this lipstick just in case it's matte yeah it can last all day but sometimes when i eat maybe apples which i usually do every afternoon like apples at my lunch every afternoon i find that um a huge chunk of my lipstick is smeared or wiped up so i just have to top it up with this so i always move around with my red lipstick in my bag the next thing you'll find in my bag is my wipes. They're actually disinfectant wipes. I don't get to use them so often. I think this replaces the washing of hands and the sanitizing of hands when i'm too busy to get up to go to the restroom to wash my hands i just pull out i just pull this out and i wipe my hands and i'm clean and good to go so this sanitizing wipes is always in my handbag like everywhere i go to although i don't get to use it so often every day but i still feel the need to keep it in my handbag just in case the next thing you'll find in my handbag as a banker youtuber is my face mask <laughs> i have tried buying and using that one those face masks um those face shields actually that you just put on and it's so cool but i really cannot cope i, I have lost them i just keep losing them so i just decided to get this one actually my mother-in-law got this one for me from Abba which i hate so much like literally it's written stay safe like <laughs> it's a nose mask we know that you're supposed to stay safe wearing it must you must you write it on the nose like must i move around with stay safe on my nose like <laughs> so i really do not like this nose mask but i just put it in my bag just in case i need to get entrance into a place where where your face mask is compulsory so i can wear mine but as i said in my last vlog wearing of nose masks and face masks are beginning to get watered down in nigeria it's not more as serious as it was at the beginning so i do appreciate the need to stay safe and that's why i have this nose mask in my bag another thing that is very important for me in my handbag are chewing gums like i cannot even survive a day without chewing gums i just pray that my teeth <laughs> doesn't start falling out at the age of 60. so i have um this chewing gum that is not minty and i have this one that is very very minty back fail so i always have 
chingo at least one in my handbag so maybe when i'm going in fact there's no need there's no reason not to not to have a fresh bread once i eat or um, just intermittently when i see that my mouth has been very idle for a long time i just pop one in and and get my bread fresh once again another thing you find in my handbag is a couple of yama yama like <laughs> a couple of supermarket receipts like when i go shopping and I, those um invoices those invoices get print, printed out for me i always tell myself that okay i always tell myself that when i get home i'll cross check my items with what has been printed out for me just to ensure that because some people some supermarket attendants usually add items in your receipt that you didn't purchase for and just factor the cost in your receipt and you wouldn't see <laughs> just factor the cost in your bill and you wouldn't know that they had just smuggled in some items so i always tell myself that when i get home i'll cross check my goods with what is on the purchase receipt or invoice but guys that never happens i never ever get to do that i just get so busy and carried away with other things so sometimes you'll just find one or two yama yama and paper in my bag <laughs> another thing you'll find in my bag is my my fi internet is so important to me like i function 24 hours or with the internet <laughs> so the, i go around with my my fi and i also buy data on my phone just in case the battery goes down i can still have internet access to work and play <laughs> In addition to that, I also move around with my power bank. Guys, can you see that this bag can actually house a baby here? And nobody would know. So I actually move around with my power bank. I got this power bank from Spectranet. And it has really been very, very useful to me. You guys know that iPhones and long-lasting batteries are like <laughs> enemies. So I always move around with my power bank just in case my phone goes off or my battery gets flat when I'm out on a call or out to see a customer. So I won't be incommunicado. I'll charge my device and move on. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I think it should be one of the first things I should have mentioned. My car keys. Like, my car keys are always in this corner of my bag like this hidden corner here i don't know if you guys can see it this hidden corner here because one thing i hate the most is looking for my keys like I, i'll just start wishing that <laughs> that the key had a sim card so i can flash it so i always keep my my um car key right at this edge of my bag another thing i cannot do without in my bag are my perfumes <laughs> So I usually move around with these small little little perfumes in my bag. Um, this is a Dior perfume. It was a gift. Yeah, focus, focus. It came in a pack. There are like four of these inside and it smells so heavenly. It smells so ladylike. I don't understand how many ladies like masculine perfumes. So count me out. I'm one of those feminine ladies that like feminine things. So um, it smells so feminine. A customer of mine got it for me from the US. And I also have my oil perfume. Guys, oil perfumes are the new balls. Like these things last all day. So I have my oil perfume. And I also have my regular um, you the perfume, my regular perfume in my bag, this two little one. So maybe when I'm going somewhere and I just need to revive that, you know, that attention scent from myself, I just do a little spray and I'm good to go. Another thing, another set of things you'll find in my handbag are my AirPods. Or is it airpods <laughs> and my airpods and my earpiece like this was a gift from my husband too this is how it comes up when it is charged it can also serve as a power bank because it has this stuff beside it that you can actually charge your phone or device with so um he got me this airpods or this airpods and um but guys don't tell him i still prefer my earpiece i don't know why <laughs> i don't know i still prefer my earpiece but it breaks his heart when he calls me at the office and he sees me using this one <laughs> he'll be like i bought you something but that's something you rather use this your 500 earpiece so i just move around with both of them and i interchange the usage of both of them they both stay in my bag <laughs> next essential thing that you would find in my handbag is my dental floss yes 
so i take the whole of it to the office because i use more than one every day i had a visit to the dentist a few months back and the dentist insisted on the use of dental floss and discouraged me from using toothpicks so i don't know whether you guys have heard that toothpicks are hazardous or injurious to your teeth if you've heard about that or if you use if you still use toothpick indicate in the comment section but i have stopped using toothpick and i'll use dental floss and actually it works better it gets to those areas those axes that your toothpick cannot get to so my dental floss is a must have and don't forget that when you have this stuff in your in your teeth it starts causing your mouth not to smell so fresh so it's best you pick your teeth properly after eating and my dental floss is a definite must have for me next thing you guys are going to find in this lovely bag of mine is writing materials like <laughs> i have this little notepad here and i also have a biro or a pen in my bag i might just be driving or i might be out doing something else and i'll just remember something that i have to do at a later time and um and I'll, I'll just write it down you guys can see i'm always making notes focus 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 yeah <laughs> so be it work related or a youtube idea that just pops into my head in the middle of the day whatever it might be i'm always with my notepad and a pen in my handbag so i can just take notes and i also don't like going around begging for buyers although people beg for my buyer a lot and never return my buyer <laughs> People never return my buyers, but I don't like going around begging for buyers, so I always like to be prepared with my writing materials wherever I am. Must have. Another thing that you might find in my handbag, although not every day, not all the time, is my brown powder. <laughs> This is just a Milani, the good Milani. You know, there are two kinds of Milani. There's the Malam Milani and there's the original Milani. <laughs> so this is the real Milani. It's not such an expensive powder. It's a very affordable powder. I've never been one to um, desire using very expensive powders. I just think I have a, a nice face and a good skin that any little powder just makes me pop with a good foundation. So I can use a, a powder of even 1000 Naira as long as it's a good product. I'm fine. So this is a Milani powder. I have it in my face. I'm not such a fan of going to be makeup in the middle of the day, but maybe when my nose has gotten very oily and I'm going for maybe an appointment with a customer or I have a presentation and I'm, or I'm going for, you know, some kind of um, meeting, I could just give myself a pat in the nose so my powder is very essential in my bag as a banker last but definitely not the least item very important item that Neze cannot do without that is always in my handbag is my wallets <laughs> Now, I also love this wallet. It has so many compartments and guys, I'm so shy to let you know what is in this wallet. Like everything you can find in your supermarket, you can also find it in this wallet. <laughs> I always have some little tissue just in case I get pressed somewhere and there's no toilet paper there. I'm not the kind of, I'm the kind of person that I cannot ease myself without toilet paper. So I always have mine. Then of course I have some cash. I'm not a cash lady. Of course, I'm a banker. We are preaching cashless society. I understand the um, the risk involved in moving around with cash. So I I just do not keep so much cash. I have about let me count this. <laughs> let me see whether I'm the proverbial girl with an expensive bag and nothing inside. <laughs> with a with a bag of hundred and something thousand, we just started there right inside. Let me know whether I'm that person. So I have like um this three hundred and fifty. Um, 390 that are in my wallet. That's less than one dollar. <laughs> so that's what I have in my wallet. I also have my debit cards. I have my ID cards, my driver's license, my debit cards for withdrawals. This is a customer loyalty card. My customer loyalty card where I shop. I like I have so many cards. But even at that, my debit cards that I move around with is for an account where I don't have so much money. I always advise people and my customers as well. I've also advised you guys in a video that do not keep 
a debit card where you have all your life savings around you should have a separate account where you keep your good money then just have a debit card where you have just some flimsy amount that you can use for one or two shopping so i have this debit card i have the key to my drawer i have passports photograph oh my god i'm that person that if there's anything happening maybe they want to share go they want to share money <laughs> Or they want to share palliatives and they say everybody bring out your passport Nessa's passport is always ready 24 7 <laughs> oh my god look at me smiling in my passport who does that as in Nessa, how can you be smiling in your passport <laughs> may god help me at this my smiling so i have my passport i have my children's passports my husband's passports everybody's passports as in you can never catch me already okay i always have um passports in my wallet so you guys you guys wouldn't believe what i have here so i have my cut look at i have razor blade <laughs> oh my god i have blades just in case i have to do some little cutting on my dress or something i would have safety pin here guys there's nothing i don't have here all. i have safety pin just in case i get any wardrobe malfunction in the office <laughs> I have all kind of sewing equipment. <laughs> so this is my cortical remover. Like when I go to the salon and um, those guys come, oh madam, you need to buy cortical remover 200. I'm like, don't worry, bros. I carry my own cover. <laughs> Instead of buying this every week when I go to the salon, I just um and of course I can't sh I can't use another person's own. So I just carry mine everywhere in my wallet. So whenever I just go to the salon, I just pull out my and it gets used so guys i think we have finally come to the end of this video of what a typical banker youtuber has in her bag in nigeria i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope i'm not too extra carrying all these bags and baggages all these luggages in my handbag so guys don't forget ladies don't forget to drop in the comment section what you also have in your handbag those things those three most important things or five most important things or ten most important things regardless of the number that you must carry in your bag and men if you watched <laughs> also tell us that one thing in your wife's bag that annoys you like my husband doesn't like going to my bag if i tell him go to my bag and think he'll be like please just come and bring it yourself because he doesn't know whatever he puts his hand in there whatever is a blame will cut him <laughs> <laughs> or when there is key or needle that will just poke at him so he doesn't like going to my bag so guys drop in the comment section what you find in your wife's bag that is amazing like it's shocking like woman what is this in your bag drop in the comment section so guys thank you so much for watching me do not forget to give this video a thumbs up like smash that thumbs up button to show that you like the video drop your comments in the comment section subscribe if you are not subscribe if you are not stop watching and not subscribing and turn on your notification bell so you can get more of my videos it's me your girl barista neze and this is neze i'll see you guys in my next video for now bye